the Revel 170 second scale Airbus helicopters EC135 in a ANWB version, an ambulance from I think it's Germany or something like that. Um, very nice painting on the box, isn't it? So I bought this kit because I fancy building a helicopter. As I've, there's not one on the channel, and I've only made two before, I think, in my entire career of b b making models. Anyway, so I thought, mm, I fancy building a helicopter. I saw this on the Amazon for six pounds. So I'll give it a go. So let's see what it looks like. So join me as I build this kit from Revel of this uh, dainty little yellow helicopter. Alright, see you shortly. Oh, welcome to my build of the, this kit from Revel. The Airbus Helicopters EC135, which has ambulance version. It's kit number 4939. So, there's not many parts in it, if you saw me in box review, you'll see that there's not many parts and so there's quite a few not used, so, as it stands, I've cut out all the parts that, from one, to, uh, to number ten, to get them all, paint, all the interior painted. Uh, part on this part, number one, uh, there's no way I could get 10 grams of uh, lead in there. It says get 10 grams of lead in there. <laughs> I put a chunk of lead in the slot underneath and I filled the inside of it up with little bit, little beads of lead shot. And it would have come to about 5 grams. So on, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Let's try and build, see if we can put a bit under the floor. Um, so all parts have uh, been removed from the sprue, tidied up, except for you know where uh, they're still joined to the uh, sprues because I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna paint them. Uh, the first part that I'm gonna paint is uh, B, which is the mo most of the interior, and yeah, it's most of the interior except for the floor. The flooring, that's that's uh, that's uh, G number nine, answer sign. Anyway, so I'm just gonna set up, get all the parts ready for the uh, should be B, and I'll put some paper down and we'll spray them. Oh, yeah, and, that, and that's a 60 40 mix of uh. Two different colours. Colour 57, which is grey, and 40% of number one glass white. Okay, so you'll see it won't. Well, because it's 60 40, I get three brush folds of grey, which is 60, and two brush folds of white, which is 40. And it comes to roughly what you need. Anyway, so we'll have a look in a sec. I'll be back in a second.
Okay, in this little section, um, uh, I've speeded up the film, but it's uh, after I've painted up all the parts for the cockpit, I've uh, started to gl glue all, all the parts together, and as this section goes on, I'm quite impressed with this bit, and what a nice kit this is, but as you will see uh, in a couple of minutes, um, things start to change and then change rapidly. Okay, um, I've struggled getting these parts into the cabin because it, uh, it, in the instructions it says fit these to the side, fit these first, and then put the lid on. Well, I, uh, that I, I could just couldn't do that, and I've tried. I've glued, so I've glued it all together, and it's now solid, and I can't, still can't get it in, and that's because. This bit here is flash. I've just been looking at the instructions and it's got a pin sticking down just there, if you can see it. And that's flash. And so I'm going to remove that and then glue it in. Okay, um, this little helicopter is now uh, assembled and it, to be fair it's uh, nearly gone in the bin once everything went all right until we got to uh, put in the engine exhaust in and the glass this part does not fit if i get it right at the top it doesn't fit down at the bottom if it get get it right at the bottom it doesn't fit at the top or yeah i'm around there so I got it. I put it onto the bottom, and I filled in round the top here, and uh, <clears throat> done some sanding. I've had to do progressive sanding and then polishing to get all the scratches out, and I masked it up, ready for uh, some white primer. Give it some white primer, and yeah, have a. Filled up the holes that need to stay painted aluminium with some wet tissue. So I'm going to give it <coughs> a paint white primer. Um, I put the rotors together and uh, these needed, they've got sink lights there, they needed filling and sanding. 
and, and difficult to go together. It doesn't, it's just a loose fit until you've glued it all together. Anyway, that's that. But that's together now. So again, that'll get painted white. And I've done the skid. And uh, yeah, that'll give it. I'll give that a white primer, but it's going to uh, end up being black. So. <clears throat> And there's just a few parts that go on afterwards, but they're in white, so I might just leave them and glue them on, to be honest. Uh, okay, right, so. Yeah, we shall uh, move on, get it painted. I'm not going to video this. It's uh, not going to take long, I think. Okay, see you shortly. This little helicopter is painted now um i'm not putting the rotor on properly until it's you know i've put all the transfers on so that's just waiting to go on well it needs also needs some transfers um so i'm up to the transfer point and i bought this because i fancied a quick helicopter build and it, to be honest, it's turned into, it's a, I don't like the kit, it's a mess. I haven't done a right good job on it because <laughs> uh, the, ca the glass at the front of the canopy, that just didn't fit. So it's had filler, I have uh, sanded it and polished it, there's some filler showing there. Oh, I just want to get the transfers on it and get it out of the way, get it finished off. It looks it looks nice in bright yellow, you know. But um, I may build this next because I don't know. I've suddenly got a fascination for helicopters, but anyway. So uh, later on, we'll, we'll uh, you know, I'll video uh, some transfers being put on. Yeah. Anyway, so that's how it stands at the moment. I can't recommend this kit. It's not a uh, not a nice kit. I know there's videos on YouTube where it's been made and it's absolutely stunning, but I'm not that good a modeler. Anyway, so. See you shortly. Okay, in this section of the uh, video, I said I said that I would uh, show you the helicopter being decaled or have the having the transfers put on it. And again, it starts off okay. You can see here I'm putting a bit of a microsol on it. Or is it like like set the first one anyway? And the, and uh, so I think get the the transfer ready to put onto the actual model. And all right, maybe I shouldn't have used the cocktail stick initially. As you will see, um, things start going downhill rapidly again. And I start getting frustrated, and I stop. I stop videoing. We yeah, are trying to get these transfers on because uh, you know, things start. As you, can, as you can see, things start going downhill again. Which is, uh, I usually like putting transfers on, but when they start doing what this one was doing, you start getting frustrated. Anyway, so. As you'll see in a couple of seconds, it all gets finished up.
I did say that I would video myself um, doing the transfers or decals. Uh, that didn't happen uh, because you saw me. Well, the first black one that went on round the uh, windows was a nightmare. After that, I, I thought I'm not videoing this. I'm just getting them on. It took me ages to sort that one out. So oh, the transfers are all on, but you can see the yellow because it doesn't cover them all. So I'm going to have to uh, do some uh, touch-ups, which I'm going to do now. Um, the rotor, I put transfers on that. The transfers on that, they don't cover the whole of the rotor, but there's like an edge. So I'm going to paint that silver. And, uh, we shall get on with it. I want to get this finished now, but enough. That seems to be the norm lately. Alrighty then. See you shortly. Okay, so there's the finished uh, model. As uh, you can see. <laughs> It doesn't look too bad, but don't look too close because you know it's not my best build by far. I couldn't wait to get this finished. I didn't like, you know, it was fine up until I put the cat the glass in, and then things started going wrong, and I've disliked it ever since. But at least it's built now, and I'll give you some history about it. It says it says. Uh, the Airbus, Airbus helicopter EC-135 is one of the most modern light utility helicopters. The interior offers plenty of space for, complete, com, for a complete set of rescue equipment and noise levels and accident risks are reduced by a shrouded tail rotor, which is that bit at the end. So, emergency rescue in the event of an accident has been significantly improved with the introduction of these helicopters. So there you have it. Um, yeah, I, I, I painted the uh, inside up, what you've seen, probably seen earlier on. I painted all the details, and uh, you can't see it. And yeah, I was really disappointed with the uh, that canopy on the nose. Anyway, so out of ten, I'll give this a six. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a six. So there you have it, the uh, Ravel Airbus 172nd scale EC135. Would I build it again? Probably not, no. And uh, that's the end of this video. If you've got this far for watching, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, give us a like. And if you don't, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm uh, going to do another helicopter next, but an Airfix one. We'll see how well that goes. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Cheerio, this is Stevie D signing out now. Bye.